we're getting ready to torque down ahead. This is a 2000, a 2002 Ford Ranger with a three liter natural aspirated push rod engine. So anyway, we have a torque sequence here. As you can see, the best way is to kind of print it out. And this will help you out. Then just kind of lay it down in the intake like this. And um, that way you, you can always look at it and see what you're doing. But here's the head. We got the bolts already run down. We put, we put a little bit of silicone on each one of these, or actually the right stuff. And um, it's all ready to go. So we're gonna start with the first torque. First torque is uh, 59 foot inch pounds, or excuse me, foot pounds. Anyway, the sequence is here. So anyway, start here with number one. And there we go. This is number two. Right down below is number three. Okay, and number four is crossways. Number five, very back corner. Number six. Number seven. Okay, the next procedure is um, loosen them one turn. Now, you have to replace the head bolts on when you do a head job because uh, the head bolts are um, um, stretched fit bolts. That's why I guess we loosen them after we stretched them one time and then it will, we will retorque them. So now what I'll do is I'll go backwards in this sequence to loosen all the bolts. They say one turn, but pretty much you just loosen it up. And that's what I do right there. Now I'm going to do number seven. Six. You see, it's pretty torqued down. Okay, then number six, number five. Okay, five. Now we go to four. Three, two, and finally one. Okay, now we are going to torque them again. We will torque them the first round. This is actually round 
four, which we're going to torque them 41 foot pounds. I get my torque wrench set here. And yeah, there we go. All right. So let's start with number one. You see they're all loose again. So now you snug them up and here we go. 41 inch pounds. Doesn't torque it down as far this time. Okay, number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. And number eight. The final step, number four. The final step, number four. We're going to torque them at 71 inch pounds. Or 71 foot pounds. Excuse me. I'm used to inches and newton meters because a lot of the new engines are... You know, they got to over engineer everything and over talk everything. But anyway, this is still kind of old school way. So we get to do it at a regular 71 foot pounds. Uh, let me make that correction. 73 inch uh, foot pounds. So this is the final step. And these set of heads will be done. They'll be torqued down. This one you're going to really, you're going to umph a little bit on this one. This is where it makes its final squish and stretch. Mm. Besides stretching the hell out of me too. Mm. Alrighty, there we are. Now we're ready to put the intake on and put the rockers and torque them. I'm going to go ahead and show you with this one rocker here what to do torque wise. And um, you have to be careful. Some of these lifters are up. So when you, when you torque this down, make sure everything's square and straight and loose and snug it down until it's uh, at... Uh, 24 foot pounds so it's not much but that's what it is and Okay. Pretty simple. Just, just go real easy with this one. That's it. That's all there is to it. That rocker is set. You do that on all of them. 
but you got to put the intake on first because some of the push rods go through the gasket and stuff or the intake part because it's kind of a as you can see this is one of them engines you know that ford made where you know it's part of the intake is also part of the uh, head and of course this is a plastic intake on this one but it's got a little bit of new school on it but yet it's still doing this the head torque like old school but anyway that's a 2002 ranger three liter push rod engine